I think we are doing great here on a Friday afternoon, so good decisions. So, so far, we have got three comments to our draft letter. One is we should change the name to European Encyclopedian Network. Yes? For time being, because that's what we have, yeah. Second is that our good colleagues from Slovakia said that it's good that we do something on European level, but we should also try to do something on our national level. And you told me that you have good contact with your Google friends in Slovakia. We have tried that in Denmark also, we haven't succeeded, but where you have it, of course, contact your own. Third thing is that Eric from Norway had some good suggestions to improvements of the letter. Eric, wouldn't it be easier if you yourself just mentioned what direction they are in? Isn't that the easiest way, at least for me, that you just inform uh, about the improvements that you have found? Yeah. Uh, being an editor, um, I always feel the need to improve text. Uh, I think <laughs> we could uh, be a bit more focused. I think the main problem with Google and Wikipedia is that they've actually signed the commercial agreement, which means that they will always prioritize Wikipedia over us. I think we should point out the importance of access to knowledge in your own language um, because it's not sort of stated here yet and uh, in Naya's speech at the um, uh, conference in Brussels uh, she spoke and in her report they write quite a lot about the importance of access to knowledge in your own language I think it's a vital point um, and yeah, and the fact that Google chooses to present machine translated content from the English Wikipedia when we have really good um, articles on the same topic written by actual named academics um, and, and not anonymous contributors who come from all kind of different places. Yeah, so that was my major input. And thank you very much, Eric, for those improvements. So I now ask you, we will take this improvement and then with your permission, we will send the letter as an open letter from this European as the network of encyclopedias. And then Eric from Denmark and I will try to get this meeting and we will keep you informed. So I'll just ask you, is that okay that we get your permission? If anyone disagree, please say so. Otherwise we'll just on this informal networking start working with this and we'll keep our president for the network and all of you informed. Are you happy with this? You are. I suppose that we are all in agreement with the proper news proposal, so... We can't guarantee your success, but we can guarantee that we will work for this. Thank you very much. also revise the mailing list as somebody mentioned because uh, uh, the first mailing list that you made you remember that we made it together everybody was asked uh, years ago to to contribute and to examine the encyclopedia landscape and potentially you know participants so now all these uh, all these contacts are still on the mailing list and they never reply they never they do not you know they are obviously not interested so I, I suggest that we all check in our, at least neighboring countries or whatever, you know, to check who uh, potential uh, uh, um, participants or the, um, the, um, uh, the, the, our network, um, yeah, what's the word, participants? <laughs> yeah, it's a network. Who could uh, that be, actually, if you ag agree, because I, I think it's really useless, you know, I know that we have some like Slovenian colleagues who are dealing with uh, biographical lexicon and uh, they are not interested, obviously, they are not general encyclopedia. So we should also consider if, whether to include maybe others who are not only general encyclopedias or, I don't know, it's, we have a lot of questions. Uh, that will be, that will be obviously, the, as, as Eric said, uh, if we, and when, if we become association, and when we come, uh, it, those things should be sorted out. Uh, if somebody applies, how he will be uh, 
uh, become a member uh, by a two-thirds uh, vote, uh, by unanimous vote, by a, uh, maj a simple majority or something like that. All those, those are legal things. If, so if we are going to take a step, if we are going to take a step towards a more formal association, we should sort out those things. Do we invite members? Do somebody can apply as such to become a member of the association? Do we allow more members from one country if the country has more, uh, more encyclopedias? Uh, so, but that will be sorted out in a, in a time until our next meeting in Oslo. Hopefully, we can have we can have uh, that kind of a charter before that, of course, to let's say uh, discuss about it eventually to adapt it and to become a more formal, more formal association. I think that's, uh, so we have a, now a network that could become association. If we found out in a year's time that there is no, that it's too much, too hard to become an association, we will stay network for a while. But network is still sort of a more, uh, at least uh, 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 more formal than simple Annual, annual conference. That, so it's between simple gathering and formal association. So in a way, a sort of compromise. So as I promised you, we will end sooner so you can go to sightseeing as there was, a, as I gather, a, a majority for sightseeing. You will enjoy it for at least an hour and a half or maybe two hours. Uh, wonders of Zagreb, uh, guided by our director and uh, Philip, who is native of Zagreb, who knows, who knows every secrets of the town. Uh, I will just try to uh, wrap up uh, the, these two days before uh, uh, less formal, less formal part of the conference. I think that this conference, after three years, uh, three years' time, showed why we met in the first place three years ago in the Bristol, uh, thanks to primarily to Naya, and thanks to our Norwegian colleagues and may I say friends. Uh, from great Norwegian encyclopedia who were the initiators of that <coughs> meeting in Brussels in the fall of 2011, which now seems like a distant past, I'm afraid. But we managed to gather after three years now. We even managed to have some new colleagues who will become friends too, colleagues from Bulgaria and Slovakia. And we will try for the next conference, we as a host of this one and Norwegians as the obviously host of the next one, will cooperate to try to again enlarge the number of eventual participants. So to, to keep us all, 11 of us, and to enlarge at least to bring back some of those who participated three years ago. I know the colleagues from Britannica uh, are eager to participate again, although they are not part of a European in a strict sense of the world, uh, but never, nevertheless, we can have Americans as, as, uh, partic as uh, observers, which would be good from European point of view, to have at least Americans as, as, as observers. Uh, and uh, uh, I know that we will try to bring also some other back to the field. Uh, I think that this conference showed uh, that, uh, like Walter said, uh, it's important to have a connections, to ch exchange our experiences, experience in various fields. We talked about uh, from the field of searchability, from the field of visibility, from the field of academic recognition to the more pointed, let's say, more specific topics of the even of the length of the articles. So it shows us, uh, and I am completely agree with Eric uh, here, that uh, we have many topics to discuss and we can have uh, conferences to be 
uh, be uh, about more, even more specific uh, topics if prepared in times, and I'm sure that it will be prepared in times. I hope that uh, you, found, you all found this gathering uh, useful, not only in this formal part of the conference, uh, in our presentations and discussion, uh, discussions about presentations, but also in that informal kind where we should uh, further and further our, our connections. Uh, and I am sure that that informal part will continue uh, today, afternoon, after the formal conference ends and throughout uh, next day, throughout tomorrow, for those who are uh, going to this study trip uh, and that sh we shall uh, meet, uh, we shall uh, further our connections. Uh, so, in that vein, I thank you all for coming here to Zagreb. I thank you all for your presentations. I thank you all for your taking part in the discussions. Uh, and I hope we shall stay, or, or not, I'm sure that we shall stay in touch, that we shall stay in contact as part of this newly found network, and uh, that in next year we may even become an association, and that next year we will gather again to discuss the things that obviously we share in common, and then things that we all in more or less uh, are not just part of our professional work, but part of our passion. Because I know from my experience and meeting and uh, uh, in meeting with many of you, I know that you also share that being uh, editor of encyclopedia, being writer of encyclopedia is not just an ordinary work. It has to be a sort of a passion. It has to be a sort of a, a lifelong ambition to write and to further knowledge. It is a kind of cultural and educational activity and I think that we all are in that kind or hope to be uh, inheritors of the great French Enlightenment uh, uh, men of letters, men of enlightenment, Denis Diderot, uh, Naya mentioned him, and so in that vein I will conclude the formal part of this conference. See you next year in Oslo. <laughs>